Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all eight starter Pokemon that exist in Pokemon Legends Arceus. There are no other starters than the ones I mentioned in this video. So if you're excited about catching all of them, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel for more content like this. And without further ado, let's get on into this video. All right, so we're going to go for one of the easiest ones to get in the game when you start off. It's going to be Eevee. Now, Eevee is right at the beginning of the game. If for some reason you do not see Eevee in this location that I show you, then go ahead and just exit out of the area and come back in and it may respawn. If it doesn't, just keep walking out and coming back in and you'll see it. So we're going to go over here by these two rocks close to Horseshoe Plains on the first river. And if you look over there, you should see Eevee straight down there. There it is. There it is. Okay, so we're not going to waste time with this one. We're going to go ahead, maybe bait Eevee to eat some food. I'm going to get my Pokeball ready. And boom. If it runs away, I'm going to hit it on the head and it's not going to get away. Okay, Eevee's done. So Eevee is located right over here. One more time, if you do come to this location and it's not here, just reload the game, come back. Just look a little bit to the left of this little water spot here and you should be able to see it. So Horseshoe Plains, that's the Eevee location. The next starter that we are going to go for is Pikachu. By the way, I like recording these while I'm doing it so you guys can also follow along and it's a lot easier instead of pre-recorded footage. So we're going to go ahead to Nature's Pantry just to get this Pikachu. As you can see, it's marked on my map. So just follow along. Try not to die like me. I, I might die here. Okay, we, we did not die. We're good. We're still good here. Come down this path. And then you get up all the way down. You should see a Pikachu in this gap area. And there it is. There's Pikachu. So if you zoom in on my map and look right over here where the star is, Pikachu is in this area of nature's pantry. So we're going to go ahead and try to catch this Pikachu. I'm going to stick to basic Pokeballs just in case you're in the beginning of the game. So I'm not going to do anything crazy here. I have a spoiled apricorn, which you can get from these trees, by the way. So if Pikachu does happen to look at me, this is another way of catching it. Bonk! And Pikachu is now stunned, and you're going to be able to hit it from the back with a critical capture. And that should be Pikachu. Done. So Pikachu EV complete. In Obsidian Fieldlands, you can get Chimcharp. And the only way to get it is by having the flying mounts or the surfing mount. So if you have the surfing mount, you can go to the same spot as me. We're going to head all the way over to Romanas Island. So just fly over there with me. Or if you have the Basque Legion mount, go ahead and just surf there once you get to this edge. Okay, there is Romanas Island. We're going to go land really close here to this edge. The Chimchar should be at this side of the map, away from anything dangerous. So there is Chimchar spotted right over here. If you don't want to scare it off, Chimchar will run away from you. So if you have a stunning item like Dirt or Spoiled Apricorn, I suggest you use it or you can bait it with food. I think we can, that option also works. So we're going to throw some food on the floor. I'm going to get my Pokeball. He's going to start eating it. He's very happy. And we go for a critical capture right here. In case they do run out the ball again, bring a stunning item. We're good. We got it. So Chimchar is done. So Chimchar is located again on Romana's Island. And those are the three starters that you can get in the first area of Obsidian Fieldlands. The next place that we're going to be heading over to is the Crimson Mireland. So go ahead, head over there and go to the second camp, the Bogbound Camp. Once you arrive at the Bogbound Camp, we're going to be heading over to Turtwig, which is over here in this area. I put my flag on it. If you want to also just do it right now on your Switch while watching, go ahead, hit the flag marker and it should show up. You can only access Turtwig again if you have the surfing mount or the flying mount. So they do limit your progress by having the surfing mount, but you get that pretty quick in the game, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. So we're going to go ahead and head over right to the spot. Okay, we are about to be here, and we should see the Turtwig. There it is. It is literally right across the, the little, little, little spot. All right, now Parasec will not interfere in our plans to get Turtwig. We have Turtwig walking around here. Um, I might just go with the stun method and catch it to not waste any time. So I'm just going to go ahead and boom. That's it. We're going to go, go, go in on the card catch. Take an ultra ball. That's it. It should be easy catch. All right. That's it. Turtwig is down for the count and we have it and we're done. Okay. So this is pre-recorded footage because I could not wait for a space time rift to show up. But here is one that I did have here. It's a space time rift that shows in Gape Jaw Bog. Again, we are in the Crimson Mirelands. We're not in anywhere different. So I'm playing this out for you guys. And you can see that Cyndaquil 
spawned right over here. Got ready to get it. And I go into battle with it, and it's there. It's actually in the game. This is how you get starters before the post game. By the way, the professor does give you the starters that you did not pick at the post game. So you're going to get both of the other ones anyway from them. But this is a great way to get it before you even reach post game. So this is where you get Cyndaquo. I go ahead, I put it to sleep, and then I try to catch it. Uh, I might have failed that one. Okay, I failed the one before, but then I found another one that spawned. So I threw a berry real quick, and then I just gave up because it wasn't going to the berry. Threw an ultra ball at it, and caught it. Right? Confirmed? Okay, confirmed. So Cyndaquil, you can get in this area. I caught it. It's done. But you have to do this in the space, time rifts, distortions in this area. Please do not try to search for Syndical in other areas of the game. Crimson Mirelands, and that's how you get it. For the next location, we're going to be heading over to the Cobalt Coastlands over here, all the way on the right. Once you go there, you're going to head over to the first camp, the beachside camps. You do get the surfing mount from this location. So once you're here and you do get Basket Legion, you're then going to probably want to get this Piplup that I'm about to show you guys. So I'm just going to mark the area where we're going to find Piplup around. It's going to be at the spring path off of the ellipsy shore going into the land so just gonna head over there put it on the map and i will see you guys as we get closer to the location we are back here and we are approaching the location for piplup so we're just gonna go inland it should be around this little lake here so let's just see if we can locate it as we're flying above i see Bidoof's evolution and there it is you see it right there at the lake surrounding it not is this, is this a lake? This is a pond. I think this is a pond. L let me know down in the comments below if you, you geography experts who know how to read lands and different stuff like that. All right, we're just going to land here and we're going to slowly go for this piplup. Again, you could do the strategy of either throwing food on the floor, making it distracted, or just stunning it completely. Something saw me, so I have to move fast now. Come on, piplup. Come on, piplup. Come on. Go for the food. And it's eating and hit the back for a crit capture. That is a Pokeball if it breaks out. All right, we're good. It didn't break out either. So Piplup is done. The next location that you want to go to is the Coronet Highlands. Now in this location, you're going to have Rowlet spawn, but it's only going to be in a space time rift. So you're going to go inside of here, wait for one of those rifts to show up and then walk inside of it. Now I'm not going to do this live, but I do have footage. So I will show you the footage of it. Okay, and here is the clip of me walking inside, looking around. It just started. Um, so far, no Pokemon has spawned. But one of the most amazing things happened when I first encountered this Rowlet. There it is. It's just standing there. I don't see anything spawn yet. I get ready. Things are starting to spawn now. I'm focusing on it. Get my Ultra Ball ready. Chuck it at it. It is going in the ball. And then and then I, I don't really realize that I'm about to get blasted here. Now, if I was any bit lower on health, that would have been a complete death. And Rowlet still hasn't been caught, by the way. The ball is still shaking. Now it's caught and it's registered. So if I die, I can die in peace knowing I got Rowlet. But be careful when you're catching the starters in these dimensional rifts. They are ridiculously insane. I lost a shiny Pokemon in the dimensional rift because I did not pay attention to my health and I was just trying to catch the Pokemon. And if it doesn't register, you're gone. So it's really sad. The next location that you're going to go to is the Alabaster Icelands. Now it doesn't matter where you go on the map because again, it's going to be a space time rift for the Oshawa to spawn. So here I am in a space time rift in the ice area. As you can see, there's snow everywhere. This is happening. I've never knew it was here. This is just footage of me exploring the area. You can see Pikachus and Eevees also do tend to spawn in some of these rifts. So if you don't even want to bother catching them in the beginning, you can just catch them later on in the rifts. And if you look at the screen right now, you see an Oshawa with red eyes which confirms that you can find alpha versions of the starters in the wild, which is mind-blowing. Um, there's Oshawott, and I was I was freaking out here. Look at the level. It was It's 72. It's, it's level 72 Oshawott, and I don't have it yet. I engage in battle with this Oshawott and run through it almost with my whole entire team. They're all getting wrecked. The problem is I have a big dragon team, and Oshawott knows Ice Beam here. So Oshawott's down to half health. I got a bunch of Pokeballs here, and I need to catch this thing because once they despawn or you leave the game or anything happens, Oshawott's gone. So I had to make these dimensional rifts count. And just like that, you can see that I ended up catching this Oshawott. And it was one of the most exciting things to me because I, I, I got Alpha Oshawott. 
I mean, confirming that you have alpha starters is a huge thing in the game. Congratulations, you now know how to get all eight starters within this game. And you also know how to get them in alpha form if they do happen to show up. So if this video helped you out, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Don't just watch, hit the subscribe. It helps me out a lot, keeps me motivated, and I'm gonna keep pumping out that content for you guys. My name is Philly Beats You. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next Legends of Arceus video. Take care, have a great day, and please be safe when you're in this game. It's very dangerous out here, and Pokemon try to kill you. So please, please be safe. Bye-bye.